So, well, she hasn't said much. Hopefully, certainly. Be safe out there. I'm not in the mood for Chad. Thanks a lot for bringing... There's no way bringing a... Fine. Let's have a look. Yeah, good. Now go. We've made the Root Mother as comfortable as we could. She was closer to the Root than anyone. Here's hoping she can help us. It's strange, though. She moves through the ward like she's been here before. I'll be keeping a close eye on her for now. We have no idea what to expect. Greetings, child. You have arrived at last. I feel much more myself. And less. No longer root. No longer human. It is age you seek. A road you pursue. You must find the one they call Founder. He alone knows the path you seek. But to find him, you must first open the labyrinth. Look to a great shimmering light in the sky. The path to its source is protected by a monstrous root creature. Slay the beast, seek the light beyond, and the keeper of the labyrinth will make himself known to you. One more boon I can offer to fight back against that which would erase us all. You carry a piece of the dragon's heart. I can improve it, make it stronger. The root is selfish with its strengths, but with this, you may stand a chance. Great forces are wielded among the worlds, but they need not be exclusive. I can offer you this boon, child. Take care.
Old MacDonald had a farm. Be five feet full fun. And on this farm, there, there, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff on that farm. How do, friend? Got any stories to share? What would a youngin' like you want to hear? Bet you didn't know I make a mean bowl of stew. Heck, back when the crazy eight were running around, we were known to go for days with only that stew in our bellies. And it was good enough for us. They used to tell me it gave them the stamina of ten men. In fact, this one time, this one time... Oh, hey, you know what? I just cooked up some if you're looking to try it. For a price, you probably got folks to get back to now, yeah? All right. Before the mud dogs were the mud dogs, we were the crazy eight. The best goddamn scroungers you ever seen. We scavenged everywhere, saw everything. Uh, uh, working aerial planes, dead wood big as the sky, and uh, 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 in the rusted places. We saw things there you'd never believe. Old carvings, giant crystals, all kinds of weapons. And dead wood. Dead wood everywhere. Corbin once saw a kip sleeping behind a locked door breathing with machines. Mm-hmm. No one believes that part. But it's true. <laughs> I tell you, it's true. Ah, look at me. You were probably out looking for scrounge. Sure thing. I used to lead the mud dogs, I tell you that. They were my gang for nigh on 60 years. Back at Sanctuary, we were called the Crazy Eight. <laughs> we went places no one else would. Found the best ground Sanctuary ever saw. Good times. Good times. Root ran scared of us, they did. I reckon we killed more dead wood in our day than old Ford himself. Most of Bravis's young mutters don't know the crazy ain't no more. But that's their legacy. Sure is sure. Ah, look at me. You were probably out looking for scrounge. I should let you go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, ah, I used to run with the mud dogs, you know? Hell, I used to lead them before Bravis took over. Bravis is my boy, he is. He might say he always let us. The old mud dogs fought for him since he could chew. Later on, of course, the old mud dogs got a little long in the tooth and the young uns took Bravis as their own. Well, I know when a good thing's a good thing, so I stepped back, I did. Bravis has been leading the pack ever since. You've probably got folks to get back to now, yeah? Okay. Hmm. So I was on a scrounge with the Crazy Eight one time. We found this old, uh, hospital, see? Full of dead wood. Basement. Ah, uh, the basement now was full of folk. All trapped there for as long as anyone's guess. Well, the root found them the same time we did. Others ran, but not me. They were folk. They had meds. So I fought for them. Tooth and nail. Literally. Biting the damn dead wood off me. The rest of the crazy eight saw me and said, Damn! That's a mutter what's got some teeth! Uh-huh. <laughs> and they mud too stuck ever since. Ah, look at me. You were probably out looking for scrounge. Ah, I should let you go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. Ah! You met Commander Ford over in Ward 13? Huh? Good leader. Sad family. Root killed her pa when she was in Kip, see? Her ma died of the flu some uh, 20 years ago. All that ain't the sad part. They say her grandpa old Ford is some kind of hero. But he was nuts. Thought he could take down the Deadwood all by himself. <laughs> and her grandma. They say her death's what drove old Ford over the wall. Mm-hmm. You ask me, death would have been the better thing. I reckon she's still out there. What time is it? 
probably too late for another, yeah. All right. Ma used to tell me about the old world. This place was called the Usa, and it was huge. Stretched from one ocean to other. <laughs> this place was filled with people. More of them than was fit for counting. All working together, huh? Making the world a better place. Why, they had people on the moon. They had talking animals. They had water what could heal you just by looking at it. I reckon you don't believe me. No one does. But the world was a damn paradise before the Deadwood came. I'm sure you got better things to do than listen to an old mutter. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. Ah. Moved to Sanctuary when I was ten. Huh. Ma liked it. Safe, steady food. A couple of guys would come around teaching me things. It was a good life. For Sanctuary, Ma told me about movies. Hmm? Folks sitting around staring at old boxes, what told them stories. What till Sanctuary? I actually saw one. Uh huh. They'd spin a ribbon around some wheels, and bam! Walking, talking people on the wall. Craziest thing I ever seen in my long life. Of course, that was back when I was just a kip. Doubt you could find one now. Now, listen, you've been real kind to me. Listen to me ramble on and on like I've been. It's been a long time since anyone stuck around to talk to this old mother, so I, uh, I got something I'd like for you to have. This was my wife's. I planned on giving it to my boy, but well. <laughs> Maybe it's time to give up on him coming around, huh? Ain't no time left in this world to wait on true family. I reckon you're close enough. Take care of it. Sure, sure. Now, anything else I can do for you? Take care, youngin. Don't be a stranger. Yeah. No.